Yo, the final native one hundred on DJ Throw Fisher. I'm down here at the bottom of Queen Street because why? My own day code is all about sports. Yo, I'm here with my man DJ Raw, the legend. Bro, you think DJing is a sport? Uh, no, no, I don't think it's a sport. Ah, oh, kill it, cuz of course it's a sport. It involves an awful lot of skill, uh, years of training from birth, and uh, you got to have extremely good uh, coordination, you know? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think of it as being more like playing an instrument, like sort of being more an art thing. It's more of an art form. It's something that like we use to express our, all our feelings and stuff, and we put a lot of emotion into it, a lot of time. But all the hard mahi that we do put into it, you could sort of consider it a sport as well. It's an art form and a sport, and musical rolled into one, I guess. If it was a sport, you know, uh, like a 100 meter race, you can definitely tell if we win. But with music, art, it's like, what's your favourite sort of thing? So, yeah, it's a personal thing, you know, there's no clear winner. I spent hours on this, man, hours as much as athletes, you know, as many hours as the people in the Olympics, you know. So it is a sport and it takes tremendous skill, bro. I think we've got a chance on Olympic skill, bro, if we head out to Olympics. Oh, that'd be fresh as. Mm. With the amount of sweating you do and your DJing, you know, we should take it to the Olympics. Yes, and we'd have a medal chance. Yeah, I'd say so. But seeking out something as an Olympic sport, I think DJ is right up there, mate. Since you're, you know, you're a big fan of the crew, crew, and you know our presenters on the, you know, they, they want to be DJ, so we need a, a DJ name for what? Maybe for Wairangi, Wairangi, or DJ Top Top. Top. <laughs> Matua Parkinson, DJ name. Oh, DJ Sheepy. <laughs> Yeah, well, Glenn Osborne, he's, um, he's getting on now, so uh, Grandmaster Ticklebrief. <laughs> <laughs>